Hi, I am Narumi Yuki. Today I will be showing you everything I know about Vroid Studio. Usually I would be streaming, like doing this, but I'm trying to make it a serious video. So yeah. Okay. I'm not the best with Vroid, to be honest. I'm really nervous about doing this as a video, to be honest. Okay. File, save, yeah, all of that stuff. Just, yeah, all of this is self explanatory. You don't really need to share FPS, but I'll put it on anyway. Um, I've never really used any of this, to be honest. So, yeah. Oh, but I mean, like, the help. Okay. God, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a example, this is a model that I did not make, <laughs> not like good at making models. Um, I made my own model myself, from scratch, every single detail I did myself, um, which is it's fun. I do v commissions, I'm not the best at them, and I have a lot to improve on, but I enjoy making them, it's quite fun. <laughs> I really need to, I've got a few that I need to do, I need to just get them out of the way, but I'm putting them off. Okay, um, yeah. Right, this looks good. This model. This model's adorable. That's that's how you can tell I didn't make it. <laughs> um I'm convinced some of the stuff you can't get in Vroid and I'll tell you about that later. Like on a like I mean normally. I'm I'm not sure. I've never really used it like an example model. I usually start from scratch. Okay. So or or it shows every single one of these in design. If you click on eyes, it only shows the eyes part. So all is everything. Eyes is just the eyes part. Sorry, this sounds awful. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, okay. Now this. Yeah, you can pretty much just move it up and down. <laughs> oh god, I should have kept it. Oh god, why are they so weird? Like they usually. Uh, okay. I guess that looks normal. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me for this, but with the sliders, these blue sliders, okay, you would like something very specific. If you want it to be negative, you would do negative, whatever number you want, and it does this. It does not look very good, but yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> it didn't do that. Um, and same for higher, if you want it to be higher than the, it goes up to, I think it goes up to one. Yeah, it goes up to one. If you want it to be higher than one, type any other number. Yeah, sometimes it just stops doing it, like, at this point it's just... Yeah, it's gone into the abyss, so don't do that. <laughs> oh, I accidentally put it on a really good slider. Okay, I'm really nervous. <laughs> sorry, shaking a lot, so sorry if I sound weird. It's also really late in my time and I have not slept. But yeah, okay. So you can pretty much do that with every single side of here. There's not really much else to be said about any of these really. Because you just slide. Yeah. Maybe I'll post a tutorial on me making a model and maybe that would help. Rather than me just showing you stuff like this. Yeah. So you just... Yep, just whatever. With all of them. You can... No, I don't know. Yeah, you can like mix them, is what I was going to say. So you can have like a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And if you want, a little bit of that. And you can make stuff with other ciders that you wouldn't be able to make originally with just one cider. Which is great. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Right. In this section, this is where you set your base expressions. So when you go and use uh, an app like Vroid Studio, I mean, not Vroid Studio, Vmagic Mirror, which is what I'm using now, then you click emotion things, then it shows the emotions that you set here. Um, usually it's just happy and you know, all of this. Um, you can make it more. Okay. Vroid Studio is the main thing you, you'd use and if you wanted to make it further you do stuff that I don't do <laughs> personally because I'm bad at it and that is use Unity and Blender. I have no clue how to use either so I get my friend Nyx. I might uh, put a link to her 
I get her to do <laughs> I get her to do that for me, so <laughs> yeah. So if you have a trusty friend that can use you in a TV, <laughs> force them to do it now. Um ask him. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. I don't know what to do, I'm sorry. I'm really bad with videos. I'm a streamer, not a record not a video lady. Okay. So this would be neutral. Or whatever I want it to be. Sometimes your eyes are a bit. Uh, I was. I, I, I can't swear. I'm trying not to swear. Sometimes your eyes are a bit. Like when you close them fully, go a bit too far closed. This is where you'd sort it out so it's not too far closed. Like for instance, can I find one? That's way too far in the eye. In the cheek, isn't it? So you. Like, look. So you lift it up a little bit. There. And you do that. And. Yeah, you can edit anything on here, but there's eyes, so, eyebrows, eyes, mouth, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want the mouth to be that, like that when she blinks left, then the mouth will be like that when she blinks left. Okay, the texture. Now this is a whole different thing, like, entirely. This is in Japanese, it's not usually. It's in Japanese because this is a... Japanese model? I think I have no clue. Okay, right. God, I can't even read it, but I'm gonna guess this is later. I don't know how to speak katakana. Okay, so this, these arrows, okay, this is okay, that is the main one. This is the general, like, starter one. It's not usually in Japanese, like I say. If you have it set so it's in English, like all of this will be in English. It's weird that it's like this, but it's because it's a pre-made model. So, so this is like the, like, yeah, turn that off and it's gone, kind of thing. That is the base layer, the base colouring. And this, this I'm right clicking for this. I'm right clicking, clicking toggle. Yep, it's taking. A, that doesn't take away any of the design. It just takes away these guidelines. So if you were to export it and edit it, or you can even edit it in the application I'm um, in this. Okay, look, click that. When you click the plus layer, okay. It usually you usually get this random red color when you do it. You can't really see what I'm doing because her mouth's not open, but I'm basically coloring her teeth in <laughs> right now. Yeah, look. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm clicking Control Z, or you can go up to the top and click Edit to get, to remove this. But yeah, <clears throat> you know, it's Control Shift Z if you want to go back, which is convenient. You need to get the hang of those. Okay, this is something that took me ages to learn. But you're like, oh, I can't move around, and I can't do details on here. Well, look at you. Hold Shift, um, hold Space. Sorry. Um. And look, you can move it around if you hold the scroll wheel button. You can move it around. It's great. Do 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 do. With this, you don't really need to hold the scroll the space. So yeah. So you use the scroll wheel but button. You click it down. Move it around. Okay. This is this is me using the oh, bloody. I don't know my left or right. So, um, this is my right hand. Right finger, mouse button. Moving this. I left doesn't really do anything. Left is like the selection for everything else. Like if I click right with this, it doesn't do it. If I click left, it does. Which is nice. Okay. I don't know what's going to come up. I hope my fart my far didn't come up, thank god. Okay. Say I wanted to import a design already using a website, I'll tell you how, or my own design. <laughs> I'm gonna import something random. Um, then, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, 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 you'd click import, or you could click, oh, I, or you could be like, oh, I really like this that I've added a maiden Vroid. Click export, do all that, and then you export it, edit it, bring it back in, or whatever you want to do. Or if you want to send it to anyone, and yeah, whatever. If you want to take it out of the app, basically, duplicate, duplicate the layer, so. Turn this off and the layer's still there. Turn this off and it's gone. Um, oh, let's click duplicate again. Alpha lock makes it so. Wait, I need to turn on the visibility first. 
So, oh, I want to change the colour of only this part, but not this part. Look, it basically locks it so that you can do that, which is really nice, I think. The only con is, it, with stuff like Procreate, which is what I use for digital art, um, you get different layers for it, but you have to do everything on the same layer for this. It's so annoying. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, it's really hard for me to talk while listening to music, so let me turn it down. Okay. Yeah, you can pretty much, I don't know, edit. it's pretty much the same as you go down. Um, this only does it on one side. If you're like, oh, crud, I would like it on both. Then you click this weird funky button up here. And wow, look at that. Cool, isn't it? Right, <laughs> I don't know what I said in it. Okay, I don't know what this does. I don't, what is this? I, I've never, I've never tried that. It's weird. I don't know what it does. I just keep it on. Oh, it changes the. Cool. It changes the. Ooh, I don't know. It's not really that cool. It's kind of inaccurate. Yeah. This I never use because it's it's a bit crap. Um. This is really annoying, to be honest, because you got to go. You gotta do extra to fill that in. You know what I mean? Like, um, like you have to do it in more places. You have to go. Oh, I, oh, I don't want to get it up there, and then you have to go up there. To, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. How do you do sliders? Oh, I've never done this before. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm learning as well. That's great. Um, usually I just slide up and down without seeing that. Um, if you hold ALT, you can get that colour. Look, no, I have my colour. Yeah, it's great. And then layer opacity. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay, keep that on. Um, that turns the layer opacity down. The only issue with opacity stuff is, god, I really hate this. Um, draw line, okay. Wait, this isn't a good example. I need a colour. Okay. Wow, I would like this to be less visible. Wait, what? What's happening? It's not supposed to do that. Come on. I'm trying to. What? Oh, this. Oh. Okay, yeah. It gets darker instead of going like actually. This is quite a bad colour example, but. It goes. Um, like it goes darker and it goes more transparent. Um, but it doesn't even actually go transparent. Really, I don't know. I think they updated it. I have no idea. But yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Thickness. You can do the same with these sliders. Type in whatever thing you want. Um, I am worried. I don't want to actually type or draw anything because it's a bit big. <laughs> I don't want to like rag it out. Um, I've never. I don't really use these specific things ever. You should just stay on. Default, where is it? Default, I just have it. Okay, there. I usually stay on default because I don't know what really any of it means. Okay. It's pretty much the same as you go down and along and stuff. Um, yeah. The skin, okay. You can turn stuff off, say, oh, the eye, the eye highlights look a bit gross. I don't want them anymore. Gone. Just gone. Sorted. It's great. Okay. Now for this. Oh, I've never seen anyone draw on the actual face skin like that, that's weird, okay. Right. You want to change anything about the face? Damn. <sighs> Unlucky you, okay. This is annoying to do, but yeah. Oh. Well. Well, damn. Come on. Okay, there we go. It's annoying to do the f actual face. Say I want to blush, let me try and actually do something nice looking for once. Okay. Go on this. Yeah, there's the example. The brush looks this big. The brush looks massive, the little, the big red outline thing, circle. And you're like, oh, it's gonna fill this area really well. It's tiny, it's like half the size. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, 
So you wanted to add blush, that's a bit of a bad colour for blush. You just boom, boom. Is that my hair chocks awake? Hello. Need a hug you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you have to have the thickness really high. This is what I meant earlier by, oh, it doesn't really do it properly kind of thing. Um, yeah. Blush is a bit bright, so I'm going to turn it down. There we go. Now she looks cute! Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, with these, if you change... Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, if you change these, I... Uh, okay. You see how this is, like... It's done onto the face? Like, the skin would usually be, like, a lot... Uh, a lot lighter. Like, default. Um... You like colour in the actual face thing. It's really hard to explain, like, because I'm my model's like quite dark skinned compared to the default one, and so is this. This is like way darker than usual. Um, I'll try and show you if I remember. I'm so sorry, I'm so unprepared, but yeah. Um, so it's good to keep this on, it's good not to colour these in. Um, and it's good to colour in the actual face panel. It does look a bit intimidating, <laughs> which is annoying. The blend, I've never had, the blur. The blur, I've never ever had any look with ever in my life, so I never touch it. The eraser, yeah, just the tools do what the tools do. Hair. Everyone's favorite part. Everyone hates this part, to be honest. Oh, well, that's the base, okay. Let's turn it off, okay. Usually I turn off the base because Look, it bulges out of the hair and it looks kind of gross, in my opinion. So I usually just draw onto the actual body, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay. With the hair, it's a bit more complicated. Okay. Wow, wow, that's so detailed. Holy poop. That is detailed. I never do, I never do mind that in this detail. Okay, gee. Okay. Yeah, you got these, turn them on and off, whatever you want to do. Um, right, maybe I should, maybe picking a default one wasn't a good idea. Because now I'm going to, have to why, why is it sideways? Wait, it's, it's compressed, that's what it is. Sorry, it's usually like way thicker. Okay, those line things going down is the mesh kind of structure that you draw on. And I'll show you what I mean in a sec when I remove all her hair. God, she looks so much cuter without the hair at the back. Look at her. Cute. Okay. Vampire teeth. Yep, they usually do them with hair, don't they? That's what I do. My my teeth are hair. Because people already kind of sucks. <laughs> um sometimes. It is quite good. It's a good program, it simplifies stuff, it makes 3D modelling, especially anime style, way easier. So I'm actually thankful for it. And it's made me quite a bit of money. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay. Once we've removed all of these you can, if you, if you want to look bad, no way, you can do it all in one mesh thing. But I, I never do because I don't want mine to look bad. If you want layers and stuff, yeah, you want to make your own thing. Okay, right. Add freehand group. Usually, when you see these, they're all white. When you go onto texture, they're actually there's an actual panel that's not just white. It's like coloured because, like I said earlier, it, it messes with the colours if you want to. It messes with the shading and everything and stuff like that. So I usually just, I usually just import an image. Okay. Add freehand. Did I add a free, okay freehand group? Okay. Now I have a free. I have this. The mirror is turned off for some reason. That's annoying. But turn the mirror on and it, it moves both sides. Issue with this is which one is it? This one is stuck. This one is stuck here, like goes throughout the entire body. It's stuck here, so you're like, oh, I want to add something to the hand. No, you cannot. You cannot add something to the hand because it's annoying. Like, no, it doesn't budge. It does not budge. It just goes up and down. It's really. Mmm, infuriates me. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, 
I would try and make the good the thing look good, but there's not really much point in making it look good. I'm just trying to prove a point kind of thing. And I don't want to spend ages on this. Okay. You see, I click on these, it changes the detail. What even is this? Well, these are the little, like, they have wood good hair, I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is like the base hair kind of thing. They use this for the bangs. Okay. Okay, start. Don't ever do that, no. Unless you're doing hair from the front, like that. Never, don't you dare, don't you dare ever do that. I do not want to see you doing that, ever. You always start from the top, okay? Work your way down from the top, okay? Do not be putting it anywhere else other than the top because it will look like poop. When you go into bones, ignore ignore that for now. When I first saw bones, I was like, poop. What is bone? Hair bone? What? Why do bones have hair? Why hair bone? Why? And then I did it, and I was like, oh, fair enough. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope this is recording. I've never recorded anything on here before. I'm very worried, to be honest. Okay, I don't even know if the music's too loud or yeah. <laughs> Sorry for complaining. Um, yeah. <sighs> So, when I said it follows the mesh, I meant it follows the mesh. Look here, it follows, it curves. Look here, it follows, it curves. Over here, follow curve. Yeah, okay. Now, width changes, okay, texture parameters. Move it up and down. If you want, I don't know, it to look like that. Usually I, to, to create variants, I like move it around like that, like that, like that. The thing I don't usually move around is highlight position because it changes the position of this, or well, the whole thing. If you mess around with it too much, it will screw up. So don't keep it, keep it, like look, it's not supposed to do that. Keep it like the. It's not good to touch that unless you're doing something like specific. Like with, I don't know if you can see my hair. Hang on. Well, I'm very small anyway. Okay. Look my model. Okay, my hair at the bottom um, is uh, a different colour than hair on my rest of my head because I tried to make it like a hedgehog. So, uh, I moved the highlight position like this. So say that light a bit is the um, light a bit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really bad at explaining this stuff. This isn't the kind of thing I should be doing. I just was like, ah, screw it. I'll just do this because I feel like it. Um, okay, offset. This, I use this as well. This is a similar to the width. The width means how many i'm pretty sure it means how many hairs are in how many hairs it wants it to look like like how many okay offset changes the like position of the whole like so it moves left and right the texture piece the width push compresses the textures together see how it's all those lines are closer so it looks like there's more hair lines are further away so it looks like there's less hair if you want it to look simplified which is nice I usually keep it in the middle. I usually keep, yeah, just keep it how it was. Okay, highlight, like I said, I've already shown you that. Okay, these duplicate things, uh, they're good if you like the text you've added to the hair, which I'll talk about later, and you wanna copy it, but you also wanna change the color. You can do this, but I don't recommend it. I recommend never changing these colors, never. I recommend because it's a pain in the butt. Now I got rid of that. And I also get rid of that if I can. Okay. Highlight. Okay. Usually you see people, I don't like it when people do this, but it's, it's their choice. But I don't think it looks good. <laughs> I feel really bad for saying that. But I don't know. I, mean, I know there's the people that leave the hair highlight and it, they leave it white and it's like, ah! It hurts. It hurts. It's visually hurts. 
So I, okay, put the smoke back down. I usually have it on dimmer, or I don't have it on. I never ever ever do that. I have, I have friends that do that and I feel bad for complaining about it, but I don't like it. Uh, I mean it. It gets on my nerves. Okay, right. All these things, you can do what I said earlier, because they're the side of things. You can add whatever number you want. This isn't as funny as it gets, do not worry about that. Also, the, there's an outline, do not worry about that. I can remove the outline later on. Okay. Usually, you want the thickness to be lower than the width. Otherwise, it looks funny. It does that thing. That whole... Like, yeah, kind of thing. Um, don't do that. Unless you wanted to. I don't know. Do what you want. This makes it flat. This makes it not flat. And if you really don't want flatness, you try and do it a, a, a number similar to the thing. Yeah. Wait, if I wanted it to be... F oh, I meant if I wanted it to be f not flat, I did that. That's what I meant. Because look, it's now... It's... Yeah. It's sticking out more. Okay. Twist. I never really use twist. I don't need to. But... Twist. You can twist either way. Give you a hair twist. There's no way to make accessories in this other than a bow and a tie. And they're always in the same position, you cannot change that. You can change the colour, you can do certain stuff I'll show you about, but you cannot have any other accessory. Sorry, that was my finger. Which is why people usually add it with hair. Because it's easy to do and it's like the literal only way you can. Which is annoying. <laughs> but yeah, some people do. Now what I don't know how people do is these. When I've done my bows, they've been very stretched and annoying looking. But look, the, the stars and everything, and even the rings. I've never seen the rings beyond that perfectly. Um, yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. Um, okay. So, twist, yeah, I don't want the twist on. The twist, there's twist, oh. There's two twists. I don't know what this one does. What does this one do? Yeah. Oh, I think that's to do with that one. Yeah. It just changes the position of the twist, like if you wanted it to be more twisty at the bottom. That's really cool, actually. Make some funky hairstyles with that. Okay. <sighs> Smoothness. The smoother it is, the more it creases like that, if you have lines on, but the smoother it looks, like the smoother it bends. Turn the smoothness down. Look how jagged it is. So I usually keep it in the middle. I actually don't. I should keep it in the middle more often, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Now these are a bit complicated. Diamond is the default one. Diamond is a good thing to stick with. Um, triangle. It just changes the pos like the shape of the actual hair strand. Flat. See, it, there's no curve or anything. It's just flat. Yeah, you want to experiment with them on this triangle. I don't really know what that means, but... Oh, and this is a hole in it. Uh, makes sense. Okay. This is a triangle hole at the top. Okay. Yeah, it's good to leave it on diamond as it's the most puffy and full and... I don't know, it's, it's the best in my opinion. Fluffy. Yeah, you can have it straight. You, which is good for bangs at the front if you want to do like straight bangs like that. Which you do a lot neater than I've just done. Squid. Yeah. <laughs> that looks cute actually. Oh, I really want to make a squid girl now. And then this is just... Squid? Same squid girl. Oh, okay. okay. You can move this around. And it will change... <laughs> Damn. It will change how it looks. If I usually have... The start of one and the end one on the same point, so it goes. If you know what I mean, I'll show you in a sec. See how it starts. Hang on, it's not a good example of this. Well, okay. Starts small, gets fatter. Starts ends small again. Okay. It's 
basically what it does. It's good. Um, you can click in the middle of two dots and it will add more dots, which means more intricate. intricate. So you can create weird funky shapes with that, which is nice. Sorry about the cars, I cannot control the traffic. Okay. Um, yeah. Fluffy, you see how it's square at the top if you like. Oh, this kind of gross. Turn it off. No square. It's quite gone. Great. When you click back, it usually doesn't change stuff like this, which is kind of annoying. But if you want to reset it, click on one, click on the other. But I like to how to be honest, so I'm putting it back. Um, okay. Sampling interval. I don't know what this means, to be honest. Oh, wait, whoa! Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my god. Yo, oh my god. Okay, like, oh. Um, I could have known about this. I could have done so much better with this. This could have saved my life one day. Well, it can save my life now. I've known about it. Okay. So, it's, it's harder to place. It's like a. It's like a smooth line. It's like a smooth, like it makes it easier to place it so you're not like cramped up and have to do it so like strokey, if you know what I mean. Yeah, go. Wow, <laughs> Okay, um, okay, have the hair down. Now I can retouch it. Oh, that's not what I don't ever do this because it's crap. It just, it's just, it's just not. It's just not it, is it? So don't do that unless you wanna. Um, this one is the go-to. It's annoying because you can't go and move all the dots at once, but you can move like pretty much all of them. You place a, you place a perfect hair. It looks amazing, but it's in the wrong spot by just a just a millimetre. If you want to create your back, just do this. And if you want more detail in the lower section rather than the top, see how the whole hair just jumbles a bit. You would add the dot right there. There's only a few dots, I don't know how to add more. Wish I did, it would be cool. Or remove some. But yeah. Those creases are to do with the smoothness. If you up the smoothness, the creases won't be there. I don't think. And then if you. Yeah. Wait, no, they, they probably will be there. No, just have it in the middle, just have it in the middle. Okay. I think lower the crease, lower the smoothness of it does that. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the hairbrush tool kind of stuff. Okay, procedural group. This is hard and annoying to be honest. Uh, oh, that looks awful. Okay, it's just the same things really, apart from there's a few more settings. There's height. It basically is guiding a bunch of hair. I usually don't do this because I like variants in my hair. Offset. Oh, cool. Boom, boom. Yeah. Fit the head. It just makes it fit the head better. Like that, like so. Length. It just makes it longer or shorter. Position. Put it around the head. This is how you usually make teeth as well. How I've made my teeth. I might. I, 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 if I remember I'll look at the tutorial I watched to make mine. Yeah. It's basically just move up and down, move up and down, kind of stuff. And move around, move around. And then split. And. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, kind of. Oh. Okay. Haircut. Just. Ooh. There. Oh no, it looks like a cute hair accessory that covers too much of the eye. And you can remove. Oh, you can have both of hair and none. No hair. Hairline. I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. I don't understand. Hair chunkiness. Thicker. Hair chunky. What? Hair part. I don't know what this is. That's that. I don't know. Hair cascade. Okay, that that is cool. You got like a whole abyss on your head. That's cool. Back of hair. Whoa! Jeez! What's happening? God, it's like you cut your hair and stuck it back on. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to play this anymore. It's creeping me out. Actually, that one was cool. Let's go back <laughs> there. Okay. Yeah, if, you do, if you're sick of it, you think, oh, it's, oh wait, actually, I'll show this. You're like, oh, that hair looks. That, this hair is 
awful. I want to remove it. I hate this hair. This hair wants, makes me want to cry. I can't sleep at night because of this one turd hair. You like, just turn it off. The good thing with the hair is you just, you hover over this bit, you just click it, gone. And if you really hate it so much that you just, you want absolute, as much, oh, you can't do it with this. Hang on. Hang on. Oh god, I was trying to show you something you can't do. Okay. Yeah, you like, I'm sick of this hair, I can't, I've got to get rid of it. Gone. Gone forever and you're sorted. With this, you're like, oh, this hair's absolutely gorgeous, perfect. Duplicate it. Oh, I need it on the other side. Come on, get on the other side. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Oh yeah. Flip. And then you got it on the other side. Because the the mesh is wonky, it's also wonky. So if you want it to be straight and not wonky, then you don't have wonky mesh. And a way to not have wonky mesh is use mirror. Okay. Now we get rid of these. You can rename them to keep organization. Toggle visibility. Let's see what it's moving. I don't know what's moving before. What's moving? I don't know. I don't know what's moving is. Yeah. I'm not turning any of these back on. I'm sorry. It took too long. It took. It took way too long. So I'm just gonna leave them. Okay. Preset. I've never. I don't know about presets. I'm sorry. Okay. His, okay, maybe, okay, here's one of my old hairs, I don't know why that's here now, this is one of my old hairstyles that I used to have, you see how I have not organised it, I never organised hair, yeah, this is my old hairstyle, it looks kind of bad on here, <laughs> to be honest, import from, pre I don't know, I don't understand this, what, what happens when I to click one, what does it click two, what, import from preset, oh, Oh my god, oh it worked, oh my god, there's a commission of someone that like, saved the preset and I was like, okay, I couldn't save the preset and I've just found the preset, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's my kind of hair now, before I edited it. I oh, will we'll keep that on because I like it. Other than... Oh. Hang on, actually, oh, I don't really like the underwear. I just like how high up the tail is, Damn. You can tell my model is tiny. God, it looks so weird. Her forehead must be massive. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, you can save this as preset. You're like, oh, this hair is absolutely banger, banger hair. You save it. You just click a preset, save it. Okay, now I know how to use that. Damn, I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, this was my hair before I edited it. Boom. Damn. Okay, this is my teeth. Um, God, I don't even know. I don't even want to talk about this. Oh, the cars. It's literally like three in the morning. Go away. Get to bed. Right. Okay. This is where it gets complicated. Everybody complicated. But also, this is where I don't understand, but I just do it and it works, kind of thing. Okay. You're like, oh. Actually, let me try and. Find it. Okay. Usually, if you would like more detail and more realism, go away, cars, please. Well, let me do it with the front of that, actually. Okay. You're like, oh, I want. This had to move separate from these two hairs and every other hair. I want this hair to be its own separate thing because I'm stroppy. Create hair bone, bone group, yep. Uh, don't add ma that many bones. Um, okay, what I usually do is add like, for this I'd add one bone. I'd move it down because, okay. The more bones, the more wobbly it is and unnatural. If you like it like that, then go for it. If you don't, then don't go for that. Let me move me there. Okay. I have the fixed point lower because I do not want the hair to swing from the top because this hair is secure on the head. This hair at the bottom. I don't want it to move freely. If you're like, oh my god, I do not want it to move at all. Spam it. You, you don't want it to move, it will not move anymore. Okay, I usually keep it on like, uh, here, gravity, okay, I'll show you what that does, <laughs> let's see, oh, I need to create my group, bone group, you see, I don't know what happened, hang on, I really need a drink, by the way, I've been talking for like 40 minutes and stuff, my throat hurts, 
This I will get into later on, don't worry about this, I'm testing this, how I test. I don't know what's happening. Okay, basically you see how it's flopping around. Uh, oh my god, I'm so confused. God, I can't have my drink now. I wish I could make this video shorter. I probably should have done a series on it, but I don't think I had, do I? I'll just do it and I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. Okay. If you want the bone group to go, well, the whole hair, I guess, and turn off. I don't know why this didn't move. Maybe it's because the garbage was on. Um, hit radius. I don't really know what that does. I think that's if it touches the hair anywhere near the balls then it moves around a lot well I guess we can test it uh, I don't know what's happening okay okay maybe that was not a good idea okay let's turn that down okay now what happens if I turn it down let's see oh, it doesn't really move damn okay I think it's because I put okay the reason why these ones are moving so much is because the fixed point uh, it's all the way at the top. See how this fixed point is all the way at the bottom. Do that and then watch it wiggle. Come on, it's gonna wiggle. Well, it's, it's kind of wiggling a lot more, I guess. Um, yeah. You want it to wiggle? Leave it all the way up at the top. But it feels unstable that way, to be honest. So I usually just put it down quite a bit. See how my hair moves from the bottom. I need to sort out my hair because I honestly think it looks awful, especially the bones, but yeah. Um, yeah. You see how the the weird line thingy, this is called the axis, 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 I don't know. Um, it's tried to put itself in the middle. Say it's not on the right spot, click recalculate. Let's hope this actually does something. Please. Okay, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it do something. Okay. Create bone group. Axis is over there. Recalculate axis. I don't know where it's gonna put it, but it needs to change it. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Um, hang on then. <laughs> God, I'm trying to show you something that's not working. Okay. Just. I don't want this hair anymore. Remove hair. Don't want it anymore. So it's as these has now, and it's all the way shifted all the all the way over here because of the axis. We calculate. Now it's back in the middle. Now it does not shift. Easy way to test is if you click between the groups, and it will go if it's in the wrong spot. Okay. Oh, that was my knee. Oh, sorry. Okay. We've has you've had enough. Remove them. Gone. Bone group is still there. I didn't know that was a thing. You're like, oh, this this hair's perfect, but it would be more perfect if it was in this specific bone group. You click on it, uh, add hair's bone group, and then they're together. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Generate bone group, this does it automatically. I don't really know about it because I never do it, to be honest. Make sure you don't click generate bone group instead of create bone group when you're trying to create them as well. This often lags it out, but yeah, look, see how it's awful and it's all messed up? That's because it's generated it for you. So don't do that unless you're creepy lazy and don't care. No. <sighs> you go into this. I don't know what this is. Oh. It's sa saved my one, that's cool. This one is the other ones, okay. Let's hope this actually does something. No, it's not really doing it. Okay, there we go. No. I don't know much about this, to be honest. Um, I drew this by myself. I don't really know much about it. You can draw on it. See how I've changed it so these are not white. I don't know why I've done that. That was a bad move. There we go. But like make it so that this is actually coloured in whatever colour you want it, kind of thing, if you know what I mean? But it's worth seeing no viewers. I'm using why do I even have the chat on? I'm not even using the chat. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. 
So I'm, I'm going to cry if this hasn't actually saved. Um, yeah, just colour it in if you want, whatever colour. Same stuff I told you before, same stuff up here, same stuff everywhere, it's just, it's just the same. Now, if you want to import something that you drew, you're going to have to... A lot of the time what I do is, this is the perfect size for it obviously because it's working for the default image. This is the perfect pixels I export. Then I use make a canvas out of the exact same size, edit it, bring it back in and it's the same size. It, it's okay if you do whatever you want with the hair really, but when you do it with anything else like the clothes, it really it will ruin it. And I mean it. Okay, this is where we sort out the head. Wait, oh. I don't know actually. Oh that's wider. Oh that shoots weird. Oh okay yeah this is yeah. This is it. You can do what you want. You can you can do what you want. You can you have freedom. Too much freedom. Mm. Too too much no. This is too much for me right now. Okay, ignore the thing at the back, that is the tail that I accidentally coloured this colour because it was the same like hair thing. Oh, there's something else I forgot to show you about the hair actually. Okay. See how I coloured this and I coloured this? If you want it to not colour them both, then you're going to have to. I don't know which one this is. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Duplicate it. And change the colour and then this, this specific one will change if you can see if it's in its own thing it, that will be the only one that changes okay because i'm not even halfway through this yet okay this is the same as earlier everything's the same the sides are the same working the exact same way now i've got the hair the hair pound look at it look at it ow okay Oh, okay, that's great side. Oh. <sighs> okay. Come on. See how this close... Okay, most of the time you can't add the clothes you want to your actual model. Like, out, sticky out. Yeah. If it's really close up and you don't want to waste the only clothing layers you have, which you can sort out using something I'll tell you about later, um, then draw onto here see how it's dying everything it's the same thing as i've said before the same layer system same everything same import same export yeah this is an example of why i don't color this part of the skin it changes everything else that's on the skin say you wanted like jewelry or something or change the jewelry it changes everything so don't do that unless you want it to look not the best okay with the clothes, you get given an image. I mean, you get given like a preset, like area that you can draw. It's basically an image stretched out into a 3D shape, like a mask. Uh, I'm really bad at describing this. Well, everything, to be honest. Oh, she looks way slender. Whoa, she's tiny and her feet are big. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh, she looks, she looks cute! Yeah. From the messiness that I purposely added. Okay, see creases, you can add however many you want. Do whatever you want, really. Want to make it look cool. Yeah. You cannot, <clears throat> you cannot edit the skirt most of the time. Pencil skirt. There's no editing sliders. Pants. Damn, she looking good. Okay, I'm joking. Um, cuff tightness, that's just around there. Okay, so you get these. Wow, she's got no shoulders. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, these are like preset kind of. Yeah, ooh! They're like the preset things in the hair, kind of. But you can't add your own ones. You just. These are like. Or you can't rename them, which sucks. You can't rename them. But um, you have them. You can just add them and be like, okay, I added this amazing outfit to uniform skirt, even though it has absolutely nothing to do with uniforms or skirts. Now, accessories. You're like, oh, I'm so excited. I wonder why you already added head, face, hands and legs. For no reason, really. All you get is ribbon, like I said earlier. Tie. 
or none, but I'll keep the tie for now to show you something. The shoes. Okay. Loafers, just shoes, yeah. The shoes are a bit not the best looking right now. That's because you need to try and find, for, ooh, figure out which one of these goes. This is the one that goes. You need to. There's not many of these, so you need to fi find out yourself. Just go through them. Okay. Go back up to clothing, even though I don't really need to. Quick texture. Okay. Um. It's the same kind of thing, but more annoying. Uh, same like whole system here, same whole system here. What I do sometimes say I don't like, oh, this outfit's too long here. This is my example of it's an image stretched over a 3D area. It doesn't close or anything, it's hollow. It like is molded around the model. Usually I keep my brush on 500 because it's very high and easier to... Oh, it's so lucky. Yeah. Yeah. There. There we go. Ooh, okay. I really don't like the difference in colour between the skin and the face. Yeah, you need to make sure... That's another reason you shouldn't do the face and the, the body changing colour slider thing. Okay, like this. This is what I mean, this. With this, you can't do the alt thing. You've got to click on it and you're like, oh no, I don't want it to be this colour. You've got to click on this, otherwise you'll accidentally go, oh crud. Oh no. Wait, that was a cool... Okay. Now I look like a... Minecraft skin. Okay. Um. Yeah. You slide up, slide down, whatever you want. Shade. I don't know, it's not doing anything right now. Okay. I often do this as well. Turn that off. So I was like, so I'm like, oh, I want an outfit to look like this, but it doesn't look like this yet. I draw over because I know that it's a molded 3D shape that's a 2D shape, 2D image. It's like PNG. And this is, uh, it's a, 3D, 3D whole thing going on kind of thing. It's stretched to fit the model. So wherever I draw, we'll go over where it was originally. And there is a way to edit it. I can't do it with this one though, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, I can't do it with this shirt, but I'll try and show you it with something else. Okay, pants. Okay. Um. Oh, I didn't even do it then, did I? <laughs> Oops. Okay, it takes some time, sorry about that. Okay. I don't mean to do that. There. Usually you have to click on the thing that you want to change, otherwise it won't change most of the time. Okay. See how I have some random leg things, new things on my legs? Change it around, I can change it around. Same sliding things as before, which is nice. The whole texture thing, it's the same as before for every single thing. Like, everything's the same now, from now from all of these from now on. Okay. General. Now this is where you change stuff. Outline hair. I usually have my outline off because sometimes I have hair, like, overlapping in weird places and it looks bad. So I turn that all the way off. You can have it all the way on, you can turn the sliders work how the sliders have always worked. You can do negative outline. Oh God. If you want it to look tight, cut in the add loads of outline. Yeah. Okay. Room light. I turn this off. It's usually default on. Like this on every single model and it looks kind of gross. It doesn't look too bad on the hair, but for the clothes it kinda looks a bit yeah. Okay, I'm just putting cream on my hands because I have bad skin. Okay. Yeah, I usually just keep them off or keep the hair ones minimal and keep the body ones all the way off because 
Uh, gross. <laughs> right, this, you can play with this, this is all the shading stuff. Yeah, that looks cool. Go there. So it's like sunburn. Ew, 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 ew. Go. Okay, eye alignment. Place the eyes where you want them to look to be. Sometimes it doesn't really do anything. The upper and lower ones only. Well, the upper one only really works actually. Kind of annoying. You can sort that out in face editor though. If you go in the eye horizontal and everything stuff. Okay. I usually always keep this on because I don't really know what it looks like if it's off. Clothing, I oh, edge leave it, it's done. Camera exporter. Stop. Okay. Okay, expression. Say I wanted to work on the teeth, but. Hang on. Can I get you in a. Okay, say I wanted to work on the teeth, but your mouth's closed. Oh no, what do I do? I open your mouth. Oh, that looks hideous. Uh, right, no, please. Oh, well, okay. Just leave it like that then. Now I see her teeth, so I can work on her teeth. You see there's things in her mouth, but those are the teeth, to be honest. I don't know why the mouth opens like this, it's a bit weird. Okay. Enable blinking, turn the blinking off if you don't want her to blink during her animation thing. Look at camera, you can make it so that she can look wherever you want her to. I don't know why it's not working, to be honest. It's supposed to work, that is weird. Okay, this is temporary change to the emotions. The other one, the face editor one that I showed you at, at the beginning, is permanent, like that's how it will look. This is just temporary to see how it looks, kind of thing. Oh, ignore that, that was my tail, so sorry. Okay. Um, these fangs, they don't work, they don't stay, they will go. Th these are just for taking images in this app. Very annoying to be honest, background colour, you can change the background or you can add an image. You can change different poses, these are the female, you can do the male, you can do your own pose, but it isn't animated, it's just static. It's quite fun to play with it if you want to take pictures in the app for whatever reason. Um, turn off the controller so it just looks like it's naturally supposed to be like that. See how this tail isn't attached to the um, this area? Um, that is because something you need to do in Unity, which I get my friend to do. Um, the hair is connected to the head, so all this hair is like in line with each other. You can make it so the hair stays at the hips, or the hair stays, well it's pretty much the hips, I don't really know if there's anything else. This, this is cool, it's fun to play with, because look, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, lighting, change the lighting I already do, yep, wind. You can change where the wind blows from. I usually just leave it, I don't have wind on. Post processing, if you want to take nice pictures, I think it, I, f I think it's just pictures. Turn it on here, this thing on high. Turn blue on if you want it to, if you think. Blinding, colour gradient. Grading on comic, <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff. Motion blur, ew. Capture size, I don't really touch these. I don't really know what this does. But yeah. Oh, this, oh. I don't, I don't know what this does. I think this is just taking images, like editing the canvas size and stuff. Polygons, that's a lot of polygons. Click delete, always click delete transparent meshes, always. Look how many disappeared. Okay. I don't really know what any of these, this does, just leave it. Material reduction. You can make the texture worse. Bone reduction. 
Um, yeah. Fit to be Roid Hub. Um, you need to use Vroid Hub for that, I've never used it. I don't really plan on using it. It's just so that other people can use the model you just created and you can use other people's model. Um, that's pretty much it. Sometimes they don't want you to use, sometimes there's guidelines like don't use this for streaming or don't don't sell this and distribute it, don't use this for sex stuff. Yeah. 3D printing. You pick the pose, I think it says. Really, pretty much what it says. I don't have a 3D printer, so I don't need to do this, but. Yeah, you can 3D print your character so you can have a figure. Isn't that so cool? I wish I had a 3D printer now because of that one simple, tiny thing. See, it's in the pose I made it. Okay. Just putting cream on again, I'm sorry, I'm pretty itchy. Got my FPS went all the way down. God, it went from like 60, a stable 60 to like hovering 50, 30, 27 ish kind of thing going on. Okay, this is, that is pretty much it. Apart from this is just in Vroid. Now, let me get a few more things up, it will take a few seconds. These are outside of Vroid things that you can import into Vroid. Okay, there is an, a website called Booth PM. I will show you this. Stream, oh no, not stream, um, Windows Capture Properties. Oh god. Hang on, this is going to show stuff. Uh, booth. It's going to come with some weird stuff, but ignore the weird stuff. And you're like, oh, I'm not paying this much money for some shoes. Lucky for you. Sorry, I keep clicking stuff. Oh my god. Okay, um, right. Search Google Translate. Sometimes you need to translate so, so it's Japanese because it will show up more because this is a Japanese website. I'm pretty sure you have to make an account to take to download stuff. The address so you can get a free version of this. I was about to talk about it. If you would like to layer clothes, there's tutorials. If you search it, I might put some in the description. Tutorials I've watched on how to layer my clothes. I haven't got any layers on the, my current model. But you would turn everything transparent and it would come up with an error message, but you ignore it. So you go in every single um, general thing, what's it called? Like default like image and you turn it off. You'd have to click on it and then click transparent like you'd have to make it so it wasn't like showing kind of thing um and then it would look really weird and the only thing that would stay is the black face plate so the face would be like dark and then it would be like purpley not really purpley but like pinky colored i don't know you'll see if you do it i might even show you okay fever i mean yeah via dresser you can free download it, which is great. It's it's, it's gorgeous. Um, like you can barely see here. You add your avatar, you add the outfit, and click that button in the middle. And if you don't like it, click re that button there. But it will show what they look like together. And it's good. It's really good. I use it often. But all the settings for the clothes and stuff you will need to set in a. I don't know. You need to set when you export it. Um. What I'd recommend doing is, um, wait, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you a tutorial on how to do it. I like, I'm gonna put it in the description on how I did it. So ignore what I've said for now about it. Okay, say I wanted a skirt, type in skirt, skirts. You get some. Well, that's so cute. What the hell? What? What the hell? I'm downloading that. Oh, it's a raw file of mine. To have a win raw. Oh, they're so, they're so cute. Okay, that's a swear word. Go away. No, no, no swearing in my thing. Okay, you're like, I'm not paying. I'm not paying a single pence to you. Turn it down. It's fine. Turn it down. Okay, 
sometimes you get some weird stuff on here, like I said. Sometimes it like this. What is this? Um, like that's nothing to do with Vioroid. This isn't just a Vioroid website. It's like there's, you can get some random. Like what is this? I've no idea. What is this? You can't get that in Vioroid. Uh, some stuff is 3D model stuff, and it's not in Vioroid. It's for like Boof. And then you download it and you're like, ah, I can't wait to use this. And then you're like, what the hell? Okay, let me try and find something I can download. Okay, to show you. Mickey skirt, show off. Free download, Mickey PNG shirt. Okay, go back into Vroid. I'll show you my Vroid. One sec. This is like the last thing I'm showing you. Okay. We go back to clothing. Texture. Um. Uh, oops. Okay, we go. I know it's a skirt. I know it's a uniform skirt. I.e., a pleated skirt because it looks like one. But you need to differentiate what item you're putting it on for it to mask. And I'll show you why you need to do that. You can do it on layer, but I'll just do it on here. Go to quick access. Oh, it's not even there. That's not a good sign. Downloads. Okay, I found it. Miku skirt. <clears throat> I need to click on it so that it appears. Look. Now I've got Miku skirt. Say, so, oh, it's, it's too long for me. Come on. I'm trying to remove it. Come on. What are you doing? There. Too long for me. Into it. Two, yeah. Yeah, you can you can do that. Great. <clears throat> right, and now um I'll show you why you should make sure you know what thing it is. This is a sandal and I'm putting a sandal on the skirt. See how it it, it doesn't quite look right. Yeah. That's because it's not supposed to be there. Okay. Um Yeah. Oh, that looks a bit. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. You import, export, do whatever you want. You can edit stuff. You can. It's great. We already is great. Okay. Happy with your model? You export it. Doing this. Go down. Come on. Yeah, you make sure that delete transparent meshes is on. Okay, come on. Uh, export. You only have to fill in name and uh, author. You have to fill in any of this, ignore it, and then export, save it, uh, import it in apps. Um, I would recommend using um, applications like Free Magic Mirror is what I use. It's low CPU if you go into the right settings. Like it was originally low CPU anyway, but then they added these setting things and then it made it bad. Okay. Um, yeah. You can use... Uh, I don't know, I don't really know because VC Face is a good free one. Nuppet is good. Free Teen is a bit sh poop, poop, I almost swore. God. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to close this. Okay, quit. It's gone. Go for it. Okay, that's it. That's the tutorial. I will put the stuff in the description. But that is pretty much it. Sorry that this was so long, but that is pretty much everything I know about Vroid. Um, my I do commissions, like I said. I'm not the best at commissions. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. It was fun doing this, even if it was just me being bored at like four a.m. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that it wasn't that entertaining. And yeah, I hope I help. Do a thumbs up if it helps, please, because I'd appreciate it. I don't know how to edit videos, which is why this is one big boy of a video. <laughs> Instead of like uh, an actual video, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I hope this saves because I will cry if this doesn't save. Come on. <laughs>